over here. Oh, it's quite warm in here, that's nice. Oh, we've got some chocolates and a little card. Yeah. Hello everyone, welcome to a new vlog. I should probably explain to you what's going on and where we are. Uh, we've come to America. Um, if you've been following me for a for a while, I'm sorry I'll be repeating myself because last year we were actually over here for two and a half months altogether. This year it's only been, it will be one month, so I'm going to be here for the whole of October. I know I'm very, very behind <laughs> with my edits, so you might not be seeing this until, well, who knows when. So, yeah, so sorry about that, but yeah, it is the beginning of October. And yeah, we're here for four weeks because Chris works with a company that's sort of based out here. So every now and then I tag along and get a trip out here to America. We are in Connecticut, which is just above New York City. I, I don't know if we'll be going into New York City. We haven't really had time to think about this trip at all. Chris was really busy in the run up to it. So was I because I've got lots of listings for my Etsy shop, lots of all the, all the new stuff that I've been making over the summer. I still haven't listed in the shop, so I was busy editing all the photos, getting those exported, ready to put those listings up on this trip. And that took me days and days to get ready. So um, yeah, I, I'm sort of here and I'm not, I haven't really thought about it. I haven't really, it's, I'm sort of in a bit of a daze about it really. Um, we are staying in a very nice Airbnb this time. If you watched my videos from October last year, yeah, a year ago exactly, uh, that time we stayed in a flat, wasn't quite so happy with that situation. I really couldn't sleep. There was this thumping noise and it just, and when I'm tired anyway, I just, I just spent the whole time tired and in a bit of a grumpy mood. Uh, but this time we've come back to the same place that we were in almost two years ago in January. It's really nice to come somewhere actually you're more familiar with and just feel comfortable with. You don't have to be anxious about where it is or whether it's gonna be in a bad neighborhood or anything like that. So we're very happy here, it's very nice. Um, I did do an Airbnb tour then, so if you wanna have a nose around, I'll put that link below. So we landed yesterday evening, which would be equivalent of about one in the morning, I think, but about but early evening here. So we just got a Uber here and then hired a car today. So today's Sunday and we had a little walk around the mall today, had lunch there. I got a couple of the magazines I like to get when I'm in America. Bought a new notebook because I forgot to pack my threads of a fairy tale notebook, which I'm so cross about because I've just bought a course from Janet Murray. She does a great business podcast that I listen to all the time and so I want to be working through that while I'm here as well but I forgot to pack my threads for fairy tale book so I bought a new notebook to write all that out and I also bought where women create and what women create yeah so while Chris is at work I shall be writing I've I haven't mentioned that in a while actually I am writing a book which I've been writing for quite a few years. I started it with the NaNoWriMo National Novel Writing Month. It's when you write as much as you possibly can. I think there's a goal of 50,000 words. And anyway, I did it. But then once that challenge was over, then of course I had to catch up with everything else going on in home and, uh, and work. And so that sort of fell by the wayside. But while I'm out here, while I'm out and I haven't got any home distractions, I really crack on with it. And it's really good to every time I come to America. I, the, finally, the book gets a little bit of attention. And I'm I'm towards the end of the first draft, typing it up. I do write everything longhand. I can't, I just, I don't have the creativity in my head. I can't get it into, into keyboards. It goes into a pen for me. But typing it up is very time consuming. So it's taken quite a lot longer than I thought. Yeah, that's what I will be doing mostly. But we will be going exploring Connecticut and probably New York State as well. Yeah, so I need to do some research on where to go. We I to go exploring somewhere new this time but yes yeah, so I'll be taking you along with me for that. I'll probably do a little vlog for each week but they'll be quite short and sweet. Yeah I'll uh, catch up with you a bit later in the week and I'll see you soon. Hello everyone 
our first week is over or at least almost over so it's saturday now we've had a okay week would you mm -hmm. say quite good uh, we haven't really done very much just stopped up on food for the for the house and gone around target one evening not much really have we no really. so to date we've come exploring we've come to a place called silver sands state park which is sort of just further along the coast of connecticut if you see me throughout the day change my outfit <laughs> quite a few times it is because if you've um if you've been hanging around last year you'll know this but on these trips we do tend to make the most of visiting somewhere new and we do the photo shoots for the blog and for instagram and that sort of thing so um we've got a bag a duffel bag full of different outfits in the boot and it's quite quiet here it wasn't quite quiet have an explore it? yeah so have a look around and then later today we are going to yeah there's another beach we're going to at west haven and then we are going into new haven might be going up to a do you remember what it's called west rock state park I can't yeah. remember the name. um and then in the evening we've been kindly gifted from a lady in chris's office uh, a pair of tickets to go and see jersey boys so that's quite exciting we won't pass off a free musical trip so um we're going to go and watch that in, uh, this evening so that's that's why we've come in this direction this weekend so that's our plans for the day <laughs> yeah, it's got a sugar with a thing in it. It's just eating it. Yeah. I think it was taking it away from that one. No. I think that's why it looks so pleased with himself. No, it was that one. <laughs> Cold. <laughs> I have never seen so many shells. And then we just Chris just casually said, Oh my god, look at that. And on this like lone tree here, that is a crab. Some what did you say it was? A horseshoe crab. A horseshoe crab. Look at the size of that. And I've just been pretty much paddling in there. <laughs> oh my god, I've never seen anything like that before. Look at those spikes on it. Ooh. Run and jump! Yeah, right. <laughs> this girl, he'll be alright. Oh! <laughs> so we've come to Sandy Point. We uh, parked the car just over there so we could look out at the nice view while we ate our little pat lunch and now uh, we're trying to find our way to the beach <laughs> there was a boardwalk the other side of the car park but we wanted to get to the actual sandy beach which is just here but there's quite a lot of water in between we're stuck again aren't we yeah i have actually taken my feet my shoes off so it's not too bad for me i'm gonna pick up my trousers a bit though but these bits are a lot deeper the last bit i went through was a lot deeper than i thought it was going to be and there's fish in there too so seeing that crab at that last place oh i'm just gonna ah, that wasn't too bad <laughs> got the flowers for the instagrams it's meant to be a um bird sanctuary here and we did see quite a lot flying in and out of these marshy beds okay i guess here's the beach all the beaches in connecticut seem to be like this a bit pebbly and very shelly not the most pleasant for walking barefoot on i have to say it's a shame we weren't filming just then i was running along the beach doing a Instagram run <laughs> all of a sudden I shout 
jellyfish and run run inland because I was running along the shore and all loads and loads of tiny little jellyfish were just suddenly there on the shore and I think I've got stung on my big toe on my left foot but um they were just little ones but <laughs> even so that put an end to that little bit <laughs> yeah but we're gonna take a walk around see if we can find the boardwalk to get back to the car and do a little circle yeah. at least it's not as cold as it was earlier so we're not cold, which is nice. Yeah, it's a bit warm. Well, we just made a bit of a mistake. <laughs> We've walked all the way up to the end of the beach, thinking that we could get round in a circle and back to the car park. Turns out that no. <laughs> we went walking right through through all the grassland and sort of marshy bits behind and uh, no, we couldn't get through. And now the sun has come out. It is really warm. <laughs> it's really warm for October. I think even for here it's warm, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Bit, bit hot and sweaty now. And uh, now we're running a bit behind as well, I think, time-wise for the day. I don't think we're going to get through as many outfits as we thought. We've still got two more weekends and, like I said, burning off our meal that we ate at the Cheesecake Factory the other day. <laughs> well, we've driven up to East Rock Park. This is the view. This is New Haven. I'm kind of guessing you want to know the place really to appreciate the view maybe a bit better because we don't really know what we're looking at other than fa the fact that it's New Haven. There's a bit of a park walkway that way so um, I think we're going to head, head around here. And that is the Soldiers and Sailors Monument with the Angel of Peace at the top. Wow the sky looks blue. day the weather turned out much much nicer than we thought it was gonna be which was good it was nice sunshine did play a little bit of havoc with the camera settings but that's all jersey boys was really good i wasn't sure after the first half i'll be honest because i think um yeah i might as well do a little mini review while we're here i felt that the storyline was a bit they were they were so focused on telling you the story like the story of the band that there wasn't actually a lot of acting it was cleverly done it was well done but the second half was much more enjoyable where there was just more acting of the storyline rather than just whizzing through what's going on in their lives and all that sort of thing but yes yeah very uplifting at the end of course ending on what a night with the whole audience clapping along of course i was dancing as well so that was fun <laughs> next weekend we're going to boston we did pop there last year but the weather was horrendous we went on a day there was a storm it was a storm big enough to have a name i can't remember what the name was but because of the weather the traffic was awful so it took us like we didn't get there till it was already getting dark <laughs> and then we couldn't see much of boston at all so we're gonna go back there next weekend so i'm really looking forward to that so i'll just say good night and i'll see you again tomorrow Hello, it's Sunday. We chatted to the kids for two hours, which was lovely to catch up with their news and told them about our week. And it's typical, the sun's just going behind a cloud, but I had planned on doing some drawing this afternoon, but the weather was just so nice and pretty and it's been so dull all week that I thought, let's get outside and enjoy, and enjoy the sunshine. So I've looked up local parks and there's a place called Cove Beach Park. So we're going to head there, which is quite local. It's only a few minutes away, I think. I've got my camera stuff with me this time, so I'm going to get some photography in, hopefully. There's some nice scenery, which I think there is going to be. Yeah, so we just have had a very lazy morning. It is now quarter past four, so we've only got a couple of hours of daylight left. But I thought, yeah, let's just get out of the house for a bit while it's nice, because actually we only have three weekends while we're here, so it's good to make the most of it um <laughs> i'll be honest the reason why because earlier on i was just so tired the reason why we're going out is because
because I bought some of this. <laughs> Which is, we weren't looking for caffeine. I do normally take Pro Plus to keep me going, particularly at weekends or weekdays if I'm going out in the evening. I mention it every now and then, but I have hypothyroid disease and I do suffer mostly with quite chronic tiredness. And so, yeah, caffeine is the only thing that keeps me awake, but I don't like coffee. So normally I take Pro Plus and I forgot to pack it. So we found this and I, che <laughs> I checked the dosage. It's four times my usual dose. One of these is equivalent to four of them. So I'm a little bit, I've got a little bit more energy than usual right now. we came here because it's a really peaceful spot actually it's a bit busy but um with people but it's quite pleasant here isn't it Lovely. yes i'm glad we have discovered we can park here without a permit in the summer months you have to have a residence permit to park here or it's 25 euro uh, euro dollars <laughs> um so we've got our outfit shots another outfit <laughs> This dress actually I bought from Target the other day. I was quite pleased with that find. Target do do good clothes. I like the clothes there. And they go up to nice big sizes, so that's good. So, I think I'm going to end the vlog here because we're just going to go back home and um, maybe we need to eat dinner somehow. Are we going to do an Uber Eats? Probably. I think we're probably going to do an Uber Eats. <laughs> Sorry, that's really exciting. Yeah, that's, awesome. <laughs> that's quite exciting for us because we have... Uh, two places in where we live in Somerset that deliver to our house uh, kebab shop and uh, Domino's pizza and that's it so <laughs> this choice of food that gets delivered to our door here is quite quite exciting for me <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna end the vlog here I hope you enjoyed watching um, if you did please give this video a thumbs up if you're new here please hit subscribe I'd love to see you again and do tell your friends if you think they'll be interested in this channel and um, I'll see you again next week for Boston. We're going to Boston next week. I can't remember if I said that already. Um, weather permitting, because we don't want to go there again when it's stormy. <laughs> yeah, I'll leave it for here for now, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.